Welcome to Church of the Chair, where sometimes we buy books solely based on their covers. I'm your host, E, and today I'm doing a topic that was requested over on my Discord. So my friend Nettles had this to say, suggested that I review or show off my favorite book covers, and I thought this was a fantastic topic, uh, mainly because you're probably not going to guess or even understand why I picked some of the books that I did, but let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Before I get started, I need to tell you that uh, the first uh, couple of books that I'm going to be showing uh, is uh, our books by someone that I'm a friend with, uh, so I'm a little bit biased here, but one of the reasons why I got into his work was because of his fantastic covers, and that is Gregor Zane. The books that I'm showing off today are uh, his Hanover Block trilogy. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be one more coming, but Gregor's kind of fallen off the face of the earth recently. I haven't heard from him in well over a year. Uh, I hope that one day we get the book, but uh, even if we don't, they're a fantastic series anyways, and each one can be kind of read as a standalone, except for the last one. This is the cover of the Hanover Block. Uh, Gregor hired a sculptor, to do these uh, based on an Instagram post that the sculptor posted uh, and he kind of fell in love with the dude's designs and so he had him I, I guess he bought images of those sculptures I don't think he owns the sculptures themselves but yeah this is the Hanover block and then we have book two the brides of Hanover block let your mind just wander into that image I mean the last one, the last one that was published, is Son of Hanover Block. And yes, that does look like a fleshy stingray. And stingrays, watch out. Because of Steve Irwin, it's on site. All the rest of the books that I have over here are traditionally published books. Gregor is an independent, uh, independent author. So all of his stuff, he has commissioned his own artwork. But uh, we're going to go straight to one of my favorite book covers of all time, Actually, before we jump into that, no Stephen King on this list. If you guys, like I normally do, if you guys want a Stephen King related version of this topic, you need to ask for it down there in the doobly-doo. Next up, we have Clive Barker's The Great and Secret Show, and I knew this was going to be a problem because you can't really tell, but all the faces and everything that does, oh, there we go, a little bit of it, the way it shimmers and shines and all the faces and everything... I mean, look at this gorgeous piece of art. It's just, I'm, I'm trying to get all, all that one right there. Let's see if I can, that dude's face, right? Ah, it's not gonna, anyways, that dude's face right here is creepy as hell. But yeah, The Great and Secret Show by Clive Barker. This also holds pride of place as the only Clive Barker book over 400 pages that I've ever been able to finish. Uh, I finished The Damnation Game. I finished uh, The Thief of Always. I love The Thief of Always, but it's a short kind of YA-ish book. Um, and The Damnation Game, I think I gave three stars. But this one is fantastic. I need to reread it again. And I know I never reread the... Uh, no, I never read Everville, which is a sequel. In fact, hang on. And we're back. Uh, I wanted to show this one off because this one is just as sexy as the last one. I'm trying to get you a good view of it. This is absolutely gorgeous. The, sea, the seashell with the eye in the middle of it. And once again, we got the wild faces and the cosmic horror-ish kind of deal. Absolutely love it. The next one is uh, a book. Well, there's two books. But I've already reviewed the first one on this channel. And that was Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous artwork for this series and I can't wait for the final book to come out mainly because I want it on my shelf and I just want to like stare at it uh, all of them together but uh because that one so I got to show you the sequel I did the same thing with Clyde Barker and that is Moon Witch Spider King it's absolutely gorgeous man yeah and there's a bookmark in there because I'm slowly making my way through it uh, this is not a series that I can read quickly I'm reading about 10 to 20 pages a night and absolutely loving it. So far, I believe I'm about 50, 60 pages into it. But yeah, we're working on this one. The next one, uh, Keelan Patrick Burke put me on to this author. And I went out and I was uh, looking for his books specifically. And I could only find one. And it was an automatic cover buy, even though KPB told me 
that uh, that I should read it. But that's this is the town that forgot how to breathe by Kenneth J. Harvey. I am absolutely terrified of dolls uh, because of some childhood trauma. But this book drew me in, and the title alone should I actually now that I think about it should I do the best titles like should I do a list of best titles let me know if you guys want to see that too down there in the doobly doo but yeah this one's dark hella dark it's really really cool something strange in the neighborhood who you gonna call Keenan Patrick Burke anyways next up is a book that I just recently reviewed but it was a hundred percent a cover buy and I had it on my Amazon wish list forever completely forgot about it I know you guys probably have the same issue you put things in your cart and they just sit there and they sit there and they sit there and then you forget all about them and they get buried under the other books that you have in your wish list or your cart or whatever um so that is in the house in the dark of the woods by Laird Hunt yeah that's I just absolutely love the way it kind of looks like trees and you see the wolf you see the hands all holding on to the wolf. Uh, as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to have it. And fortunately, it's also an amazing book. I only have one more book to show off. But this one, if I was going to pick like my favorite non-Stephen King cover, it's this one. And it's a book that I've tried to read three or four times and I can't get into at all. But it is still a piece of artwork for me to have on my shelf that I absolutely love. And it might seem strange, but I I had to have this. Bubblegum by Adam Levin. If you can see, the ball has claws swiping from the inside. I love the font. I love the artwork. I love everything about this. I love the pink. I love the color. I, I love everything. It is so understated, but it raises so many questions and this is what i think good cover art is is they don't show anything from the book really it's just kind of a vague obtuse picture image theme whatever this for me is a great cover and unfortunately the premise sucked me in but the book itself is is not my cup of tea at least not at this point in my life it is about a world a modern day world so let's say I think it came out in 21 or 22 set in 2022 or 2021 whenever it's set it's modern yet there's no internet the internet was never invented and I really truly want to read this but I'm actually just kind of happy to have the the book and the cover on my shelf anyways so thanks again to Nettles for uh for suggesting this topic I had fun doing it I had fun going through my library and trying to find what, you know, wh which ones, what stuck out. I also have this one back here that was a uh, absolute cover by. Let me grab it. August Kitco and the Mechas from Space by Alex White. Uh, whoever did this cover, it, it's amazing. I love the, the space opera wild colors and everything. If you can't tell, I, love, I like pink. Sue me. But anyways, yeah, uh, at least... At least three of these books uh, are uh, are pink. But anyways, uh, and yeah, it's really, really nice. I wish there was a hardcover version of it, but I don't believe Orbit does hardcover. If I'm wrong, let me know. But when I went to go get this brand new on Amazon, when it first released, there was no hardcover version, and that kind of sucks. But yeah, so those are my favorite covers, at least for the time being. Uh, I would love to see some of your guys's uh down there in the doobly-doo let me know uh you of course you can't post pictures but if you want to share it on the discord uh that's fine if you don't know i'm also taking uh suggestions for topics for videos at on the discord uh there's going to be a link down there in the doobly-doo you can click on that but that's all the time i have for you today i can't wait to see what some of your favorite covers are but until next time i'll hail the chair